Okay, who do we have joining us this morning? Okay, so this is Simon, and he has a brother named Garfunkel. Okay. So, okay. Um, yeah. And yeah, he is like a kitten tumbleweed. He just wants to roll and play, and he is just... He's a lot of fun. Nice. Okay, Simon. I'll make sure that we have that um, in there. And then we are in our commercial break. We'll have weather, and then we'll come to our interview with you. That sounds great. Thank you. Okay, see you in a few, Laura. And it's been a bright and sunny day out there. We're currently sitting at 32 degrees and we'll start to warm up as we go into pretty much the afternoon hours. And as we look pretty much, like I said, at the tower cam right now, it's sitting nice, but that's gonna quickly change as we go pretty much into the evening hours as well. So like I said, we'll be around 32 today, but going into the weekend, that's when we'll see a change in temperatures. And let's look at satellite and radar right now. Sitting pretty clear right now. And like I said, sitting pretty clear as we go into pretty much the evening hours, but that's gonna quickly change as we go, like I said, into the evening hours as the clicker is kind of broke right now as we take a sec to change the clicker. And like I said, we'll be mostly clear, but as we go into the evening hours, it's gonna be a nice one. And as we go, like I said, into the, and we'll send it back to Kaylee. Thanks so much, Matt. We'll get that forecast working for you in just a minute. We'll go back to you. Humane Ohio is busy with kittens as spring begins to set in. Joining us this morning is Laura Simmons work on how we can keep these animals safe and healthy. Laura, who do we have joining us today? Oh my goodness. Good morning. I have a very playful little kitten named Simon. He, he is a playful. <laughs> Oh my gosh, like I said, he's like a kitten tumbleweed. He just likes to roll around, play around on the floor with toys, hop around, watch the birds out the window. I mean, he is such a little joy. And this guy, he's got a brother named Garfunkel. So like the singer is Simon and Garfunkel, and maybe we could find like a Mrs. Robinson to adopt both of them. <laughs> there we go. And so um, these kittens, this little litter right here, are, will they be available for adoption soon? They sure will. So they actually just got um, neutered this past week. So they're going to be adoption or up for adoption very soon. And we have so many cats and kittens in our program. We always talk about spring, you know, warmer temperatures. It might not feel like it today, but that means uh, kitten season. Lots of those litters are being born. And we are a low cost spay and neuter clinic. So our, our goal is to prevent those litters. But then we have a cat adoption program to help when, when those kittens are born. So yeah, and there's our uh, one thing you just mentioned is kitten season. When do we really start to see this increase of these kittens and these litters? Yeah, you know, I wish I could say there was a real deadline, but it's kind of been happening all year. Instead of a season, it's kind of, uh, kind of you know, 
been been for the past few months we've been dealing with a lot of calls for kittens and so many people needing to get their cats in to be spayed and neuter so but springtime and as those temperatures increase we see so many cats that are you know unwanted pregnancies and unwanted litters so those those kittens coming into our program are, are a regular thing so we need our community's help with foster homes if you want to open up your home um, maybe you're not ready to make that permanent commitment but want to open up your home and become a foster or even donations of kitten food toys for little guys like this litter boxes um all kinds of those supplies that we need and so when you know when these this kitten season and these rise in kittens being born happens we may come across them what should we do if we're in that type of situation yeah, so if you maybe, maybe you find a litter of kittens outside or your cat has, you know, an unexpected litter, definitely you can give us a call. We'll help get that mom cat spayed or neutered for you. Oh, he's going to be a little parrot now. <laughs> <laughs> and then um, you can contact our adoption program to see if we have an opening in our foster home. We know so many of the local area shelters and rescue groups are so full this time of year. So we really rely heavily on our community to help adopt those kittens and help support those those groups. And real quick, before we let you go, we have about a minute left. You guys are still doing $5 Fridays and you have something else happening during the week. Let's chat about that real quickly. Yeah, so every Friday we do a $5 Friday fundraiser on our Facebook page. There's a Facebook Live with a donation of $5 or more. Your name can go into an entry to win something really cool. And then we do have every Wednesday, we have the Frankly Plant-Based Kitchen Food Truck that comes to Humane, Ohio. And $1 of every house-made hot dog gets donated right back to the clinic to help support little kitties like Simon here. He just does not stop purring, I'm telling you. <laughs> awesome, Laura and Simon. Thank you guys so much for joining us today. Thank you. <laughs>